Hello and welcome to another room here on Try Hacking. We've got you got the room. V for version scan. So with this, this particular scan here, we're going to scan the machine as you can see, as you can see down below. 10.192.201. 10, we're going to detect which kind of versions stuff is running. And of course also run some static scripts. And if there's any vulnerabilities going on here, that is really normal. MF will also detect those. Now while this is running, it will, it's really fast. So let's just continue here. We got a message saying that we have a port 22. We also have port 80, which is Apache, and rig is super cool. Okay, so now that we have the scan run, 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 whatever. Now that, now that it is done, let's have a look at the questions we need to answer. Now, I already did this, but we need to find three different ingredients. And by doing that, we need to exploit a web server and find different kind of things. Now, first of all, let's just visit the website. This is the website. <clears throat> it is... Um, this guy here <laughs> and also we need to uh, find the first ingredient now just by looking at this it doesn't really look have anything in particular so let's look at the source code and what we do see down here below is a username called rig rules so let's go and copy paste that and save it in a document wow what a lot of I don't save this
guessed it. Now we have the second ingredient, which is another folder. Why did, did I, how could I guess um, that the name was Rick? Well, it's called Rick Portal and I I also did this room before, but it's, it's like more than a year ago. So I, I just, you know, from the top of my memory, I think, yeah, it's probably Rick. And this is the thing you can do when you find these kind of rooms, you know, you can just try out your, your, your usual suspects and stuff. What you could have done is basically just go ahead and, and, and output it this and just went to home and you have the user rig ubuntu and that's about it anyways we're gonna take rick and you see something called second ingredients so let's do uh see rick ls let's do less this stuff there and just uh, okay so is the x less to the oh what is this uh this looks like base 64. Let's take this string down here below and go to Cyberchef. Cyberchef is a wonderful website on GitHub that can, you know, do different things with, with encoded stuff. Let's take some from and see what we get. We get nothing. What about two times? Nah. All right, so we don't know where that is at the moment. So we're gonna save it and just go, there we go. All right, so let's go back to the actual web page and But it's being a no. Uh... Yeah, oh, we have a clue file. What is that? Look around the file system for other ingredients. Yeah. Okay. So that is that is of course un understandable. So we're gonna do home, Rick. Well, let's just do CD one more time. I think I forgot something. We just yeah. We have second ingredients. So let's just pick this right there and do less. That's weird. I don't remember getting this hash the old days. Anyways, maybe it's just me trying stuff and I'm just, yeah, I remember. I don't remember it. But anyways, we have the hash. Maybe we should also take a look at the one called, okay, we have the port one, yeah, yeah, so. But I kind of understand why it is. We cannot find the
out there. Bye-bye.